admin post page should be almost the same as the outer post except for the fact that outer can see all of the posts for every outer. So let's get back to the code and open outer posts view and copy all the code which we are going to paste inside the admin posts view. Now change every necessary detail Now let's go to admin controller where we are going to define a new variable named posts which is equals to post model and using all function we are getting all of the posts. Now simply pass that variable to the view and let's take a look at that now. And as you can see, we have the admin post page. Now we need to create edit and remove actions, which we can also reuse from the outer logic. So I'm going to copy these three routes and paste them inside the admin group. Now change the route name and the name of the controller. Now let's create post edit, post edit post and delete post functions inside the admin controller. Now, as you can see, in this case, we are not checking if the logged in user is the author of that post, because if that user have access to admin controller, he should be able to edit whatever he wants.
and now the only thing we need to change here is the route where the request will be sent to and that is in this case admin post edit post and it seems like we forgot to pass the post variable to the view great now let's handle the post editing functionality and it seems like we forgot to use the request now let's see if this editing actually works and it seems like it does And as you can see, updated that column says that we edited this post five seconds ago, which is true. And the only thing left is to make the post removal functionality.